Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to screen a couple of recent orders from Mutant Beaver Comics. I'll put a link in this video back to the unboxing where you could see what the process was like uh, for Mutant Beaver, what their packaging shipping looks like. But these are the, the raw books themselves. I'm gonna go through and take a look one at a time and screen them, catalog them, show you about, uh, show you my screening process and how I catalog uh, these comics. So let's get to it. Uh, so I've got my spreadsheet ready to go and uh, got everything pre-filled uh, to save us a bit of time. Kind of walk you through how I fill this out and what it means. And then we'll actually uh, get uh, Mutant Beaver comics inserted into the overall standings ledger. Uh, as far as statistics for uh, online stores. Uh, so that'll be fun and interesting, interesting to see where they stack up. All right, so let's get started. So this first book, this is uh, Strange Academy number 10. Uh, I actually ordered number 11. So... I have been in contact with Mutant Beaver about this, and they're shipping me out a replacement. I don't know if they saw the unboxing video or not, um, so let me get this open, start looking at it. But nevertheless, they sent the wrong book. That's all it was. Uh, this is still a great cover, but I really, really liked the Mercado uh, cover on number 11 just a bit more. Uh, looks pretty good though. Get this uh, situated here. Sorry about that. Something right there on the cover. Hard to tell exactly what that is right there. Something right there, possibly just a. I'm being very nitpicky. This this is a very clean book. Uh, the corner, a mm, little bit of a ding there on the corner. Overall looks pretty good. I don't want to, uh, you know, downgrade this book unnecessarily. Looks really good up and down the spine on the back. Uh, Again, yeah, there's just some, some something on the front there it could be just the printing not exactly sure it's not not a substantial uh, defect or any sort of uh, dirtiness or weird foreign objects on the cover like you would see a silver age i'm going to chalk that splitting up to just normal spine manufacturing wear and tear i'm going to give this a 9.8 I, th I think it's a 9.8 uh the the colors or whatever I'm looking at on the front there, uh, I think it's just how the book is and how the coloring is. So, uh, because this is a store variant, I paid a little bit more for it. I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Uh, I appreciate everything, all the branding, but uh, I want the bags and boards to be consistent. So I'm going to put that aside. What I do in the top right corner is I write the grade. Like so, and I replace it with BCW bags and boards. I'll get that one in there. And go ahead and I just sort of pull this gently off the desk so I can pick it up without further scratching or dinging or tearing the book. Get this out of here. And off it goes. All right, so that's book one. And now I want to get this inserted. So this is it right here. This, uh, again, it says Strange Academy 11, so I'm actually going to update this. 10 because that's what it is. I'm going to go into Go Collect. Um, they don't have every store variant in here. Strange Academy 
10. Oh, we'll, we'll see if they do have it. Let me blow this up a little bit. Let's check uh, cover price. Academy 10. Uh, they're very good about putting the store variants in there. And here it is, the Miguel Mercado. 9.8. There it is. Number 10. This was purchased back on June 14th, 2021. So again, the, the sort of trifecta of, and I don't have Mutant Beaver in here yet, the trifecta to identify a unique book is the date, the condition, and the source. So those three things combined helps me identify the book. All right. Now I just want to tag this in my spreadsheet. It was not in Go Collect. It was in cover price and my grade was a 9.8. And we just increase the decimal, change this to percentage. So what I like to track is the percentage within the order of books that I got a 9.8 on and then the overall average grade in the order. So one book down, one 9.8, uh, so far so good. All right, the next one I'm gonna look at here is this book that they included for free. This is uh, Deceased Number Two, Trevor, uh, Trevor, the Shannon Mayer cover. So let me take it out of the bag. First quick glance, doesn't look too bad. What do you think? Yeah, it's looking to me like a 9.8. Maybe something up there. Let's get a little bit of a closer look here. Looks pretty sharp, pretty clean. Really nothing up and down the spine. Uh, just some very, very minor chipping at the bottom off the edge, but really nice otherwise. Uh, let me know if you see anything, but uh, that's really the only pro problem spot is I see that corner right there, but it's really not, uh, I just do that sometimes on the corner just to see how bad it is, but I think that's just normal wear and tear on the book. That's what's preventing it from being a 9, 9, or a 10. Um, very, very mild, slight rolling, but uh, again, I think just being in the bag and board is press enough. So I'm going to give this one a 9.8 as well. That's pretty good. So this one, I'm going to have to insert a new row into the order. So I'm just going to put it right in here. And let's search for it. And we'll just copy and paste the title. So this is Deceased 2. Comic Mint uh, Edition B. Now, according to Go Collect, wow, a 9.8 has a fair market value of 100 bucks. So, uh, might have scored on that one. I've noticed sometimes the saving uh, takes a second. Sometimes I'll jump over to the other while I wait for it to refresh, but it caught up. So, 9.8, I always put everything in CGC Universal, even though it's not a slab just because I want to see the value if it's slabbed. 
and I always, again, put the purchase date. Uh, I always forget because there's so many. June 14th, 2021. And Mutant Beaver Comics. This is a new source. My first order from them. And I am curious to see what the data is on this, if there was a recent sale. Yeah, recently sold July 11th for 100. Uh, that was a fixed price auction, 21 bids, went for 50. So, uh, yeah, there it is, though. Hmm. Not bad for a free book. Deceased 2, let's see what cover price says. So this is the, um, I think the reason it uh, has value is because it's the minimal, although cover price is saying that the just the straight Shannon Mare with the severed head there is 20. Let me blow this up a little bit too. There we go, sorry about that. Uh, here it says it's 20 for that one, but uh, the minimal is less, but still $17. The asterisk mean it's no recent sales. All right, now I'll put uh, put this one in. June fourteenth, twenty twenty one, and now Mutant Beaver should be in there. Now it's saved. All right. So I'll copy this as deceased number two comic mint variant. It was in both Go Collect and Cover Price in a 9.8. Once again, I am going to replace the bag and board. Give it a 9.8. Like so. And very carefully slip the comic in there. Let gravity do its thing. All right. Nice looking book. There we go. On to the next. All right, this was <clears throat> the Natalie Sanders variant of Department of Truth 10. The uh, This is the Virgin cover. And we're gonna replace the Mutant Beaver branded stuff stickers, bag board, whatever's in there. And we'll take a look at this one. Really gorgeous cover. Again, nothing out of the ordinary there on the corner, that's okay. Edges look really, really sharp and clean. Really nice. What do you think about this one? I think it's a 9.8, yeah. Right there, a little bit of... I, it's just slightly curled, just slightly. I don't believe that needs to be pressed for a 9.8. Let's check the back. Back looks great too. So this one is, uh, you'll see on the back, it's marked KRS Comics. KRS was, I, I believe it was sold out when I started looking at this one. That's too bad they misspelled her name, Natalie Sander. That's unfortunate. Looks good. I'm giving it a 9.8. Looks great. 
Great looking cover. Okay, so this one is up here. They, they merged two orders together, um, which is fine by me. Uh, And let's take a look and see if we can find the book. So department, I, I do this, but I know it's not in here. Department of Truth 10. So like they have some Comic Kingdom of Canada and then it just sort of falls off. I, I don't know why some variants are in here and some aren't. I, I think maybe over time or with sales data, they'll get added, but they're not in there right now. 54 variants, holy smokes, for issue 10. Oh man, how am I going to find this? Uh, how about searching KRS Natalie Sanders? Okay. So here I complained about 54 variants for this book, but then I bought two of them. So there you go, that's why they do it. Look at all those Department of Truths. Okay, so this was purchased 614, 2021, Mutant Beaver. And saved. Back to the spreadsheet. Uh, it's not in Go Collect. It is in cover price, 9.8. Uh, again, I like to see two decimals and convert this to percentage. So <clears throat> these two orders looking pretty good so far. I am going to edit this just to see, uh, just so we can tell the difference here. It's Department True 10. This is the Natalie Sanders version exclusive. I don't need the other um, marking information in there. I bought them as a pair, so I got a little bit of a discount there. Um, awesome. Very cool. Now let's get that one. Uh, this one, because it's a 9.8 and I'm rather fond of the cover, I'm going to treat this book to a fullback. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna spend the big bucks. I got 50 cents right here on this fullback. Always put the grade on the textured side. So the smoother side is against the book. However, it does not get a Mylar or a Mylite. It just gets a standard silver bag because that's all it needs. If this cover becomes the like the movie poster for Department of Truth, then I'll switch it out to a Mylite. And I'll make a video of me switching it out eight years from now, but all it needs is the full back there. Gorgeous. Looks great. Really looks great. Love it. All right, three for three. Can we keep this up? Let's go with the other. This is the Warren Lou. Or is it Warren Lau? This is the Warren Lau Virgin variant. Either way, it's a great cover, love it. So I'll take it out of the Mutant Beaver bag and board. Get ready to replace it. All right. Looks pretty good. Um, very, very slight bend down there. Again, I, I'm not, that's not a 9.6. It's, I think that's okay. I'm just looking at it in the light. Right there. Hmm. It actually <laughs> looks better in person than it does on the video, but um, nonetheless. A very, very mild, slight quick press would take care of that. So I, I'm not going to hammer it too much. Um, holy smokes. Uh, 
<laughs> the uh, the spine looks great. Um, one little ding right there, right by my thumb, right there. The curling is definitely evident here. It it's not I, I right there. You can see that. So to me, it's it's not a solid like no brainer nine point eight. Uh, and so this is where um, I go ahead and drop it to a 9.6, but I definitely uh, make note that it could be pressed up into a 9.8, no problem. In fact, it's another book for a great candidate for, um, for pressing video. Okay, so spine on the back looks great. Uh, love the cover, and I am going to also treat this to a full back as well. But let's get it data entered first. So I'll edit this to match the book above, Department of Truth 10, Warren Lau, Virgin Exclusive. And I didn't see it here in the list. I did see it back here. If you're playing at home, uh, Alt left arrow allows you to use the keyboard to navigate back and forth in the browser and add this to the collection and I'm going to add it as a 9.6 if it presses up and I feel like the defects are gone the, the folding's gone then I'll come back and update it all right number 10 9.6 purchase June 14th 2021 from our friends at Mutant Beaver, added. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna also put this in the fullback. And I just note this with the letter P next to the grade. And to me that tells me, hey, hey dummy, you can go through here and press it out, bump it to a 9.8. I, I try not to, um, you know, have too too much uh, unrealistic expectation with pressing so if it's like an eight and i mark it with the press then it's to me it's only an eight five i i'm not some sort of uh wizard with pressing where i can take an eight all the way up to a nine eight um but this book i can certainly press out the the the, the very very light curling and just that that slight um issue right there at the bottom that that's something that i do know how to do all right, looks great in the fullback. We'll move on to the next one. And we've got two of these to go through. This is the Rose Besh Department of Truth 9, limited to 1500 uh, exclusive. Well, let's get this one out. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add this to the spreadsheet. Let me take care of the spreadsheet real quick. So this was, again, not in Go Collect, was in cover price, 9.6, and we see those numbers adjust. And we will go back here, take it out of the branded bag and board very carefully, just slip it straight out. Okay. Let's see what we've got here.
There we go. Okay. I lost the light there for a second. So the first thing I noticed with this one is right there by that top staple. I don't know what to make of that. It's it's almost like it's just color rub, I guess. Uh, probably books stacked on top of each other. So unfortunately, that's not going to be a 9.8. Now the question is uh, if there's anything else that would pull it down even further. Uh, looks okay. Corner looks fine. That's unfortunate. The rest of the book looks okay to me. Pull this back a little bit. Gosh, it looks really, really good. Uh, as soon as I say that, I always find something right there. That's minor. I, uh, it's kind of running up and down the book, though. Oh, this is that gray area. It, it, is this a, a true 9-4? Like, there's no spine ticks in this. But if I mark it 9-6 with a press to get rid of whatever this is here, uh, going up and down the book, I might see that and go, oh, uh, I can get that up to a 9-8. I just, I, I'm a stickler for this stuff. Like to me, that, that color rub right there by the staple just ruins it for me. Um, it's a gorgeous cover. I, I love the art, but I just, uh, I couldn't put this in my collection and set it aside that like, oh, I'm gonna send that to CGC. So I'm going to mark it as a 9-4 with a press because I would need to press that out and make it a true 9-6. So just trying to be honest with myself and my collection here. Uh, I'm not, you know, trying to buy these store exclusives and flip them per se. Um, just trying to keep everything accurate. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this one in here. This is Department of Truth 9. Nope. Let's see if it's in Go Collect, or see if it's in uh, Cover Price, rather. 37 variants of number 9. Let's find the Rose Bash exclusive. So, Virgin going for $27.20. Nine four. Mm -mm -mm. And I'll just put in the purchase price, uh, purchase date rather, location, and save it. Now back to the spreadsheet. Not in Go Collect. Yes, it's in cover price, 9.4. So again, just to be fair with everybody involved, uh, if I do press this up into a 9.6, I come back in here and I, I change it. Uh, so I'm trying to keep things very even and consistent. I'm not trying to overly ding or punish a store or my own books. But uh, it, I can't justify that book being a 9.6 or even a 9.8. If you think it's uh, a 9.8, even with that color rub, leave me a note in the comment. I'm, I'm not a professional grader, so I'm always willing to learn and get better at this process. But th this is kind of what I do. I, I'm very, very hard on these books. And when I see a 9.8, it's a 9.8. Um, if I was at a convention trying to buy this for fair market value, and I saw that color rub, I'd put it back. You know, if somebody was trying to sell it for $10, okay, yeah. I'd take a look at it, I'd consider buying it. But I'm not paying full fair market for something with color rub, something that I'd have to work on with pressing. It's still gorgeous. I mean, the, I love the art. It's fantastic. I mean, it's great. So let's see if the other one is any better.
my fingers are crossed that not all of them have that same problem. Let's take a look. Fingers crossed. Let's look right up there. Oh, man. Well, it's not as bad as the other one. It's very, very subtle. A little bit of a spine issue right there by my thumb. Again, standard minor corner splitting. You don't get dinged on that. Edge is really sharp. It has that same, darn it, has that same issue up and down here. It's very, very subtle. Let me try and angle it this way. Right there, you can see up and down. It's just from the books laying on each other, but it's all the way up and down. You know, and again, I've, I sent a book in, like I've mentioned, it was Batman 89 that had a curl. And I just wanted to uh, take the chance, and I gambled, and it was a 9.8. So it's possible that these uh, curled uh, spines, like even that, just there's some page rippling here happening in the back. It deserves a press. However, I'm not going to kill this for that little tiny color rub. I, it's just, it's the only one there. The, uh, I always do this. Then as soon as I'm ready to give it a grade, I find something else right there on that corner just under the corner there's that that little spine tick right there I'm gonna give it the same 9.4 with a press I just can't it just even down there I just saw that just too many little things Right, I just can't. I I, I wouldn't in, wouldn't be able uh, in good conscience to to give that one a nine eight by itself. All right, let's catalog this one. All right, this is going to be a copy paste. We know it's not in Go Collect. It is in cover price, and it is a nine point four. So this order is complete. Average grade nine point five five. Only one of the four books was a clear cut nine point eight, and that was at Natalie Sanders book so we know that's not there again I'm gonna alt left arrow one two three four back to the variant list Dash. that's too bad I was really hoping that one of those was a clear-cut 9.8 to have them both in 9.6 again there uh, people always get mad at me like what do you expect I'm not expecting anything, you know, I'm just screening the books. So I'm excited when they're a 9.8. Um, the nice thing about these two being a 9.4 with that, uh, you know, uh, press candidate indicator that I give it is that I know I can fix those myself now, which is great. I used to look at those books and be like 9.2, 9.4, and... It's like, man, I can't afford to send those into CCS if I am going to uh, get these um, graded. Now I know I can fix those issues myself. So that's a good feeling. Again, I'm going to treat myself on these to that fullback. I do believe over time that Department of Truth, maybe not to the the level and and insanity that something is killing the children is at, but I do believe that the single digit issues of Department of Truth will start to take off in value. You know, to some degree, I don't believe that uh, there'll be hundreds and hundreds of dollars like a, something is killing the children. Number seven is or something like that, but uh, 
I think they're still going to be valuable. So this just got in at number nine. And uh, Rose Besh is not only just the sought after artist, but uh, the cover is fantastic. So, really great. Okay. I have two more to go. And they are both Legends of the Dark Knight, number one. And this is the um, another Warren Lau exclusive. Um, and I just got the pair. This is the, uh, the trade and the minimal. So we'll do the trade first. So this is the reboot of the original Legends of the Dark Knight series. So I think I mentioned this in the unboxing. Um, this one has, this is a cardstock cover, and it has that issue down in the corner. Um, yeah, you can see I just, I didn't fix it, but I folded over it, it's a tear. So that looks better at least than the way it was, but it's, it's definitely a tear there. So to me, that's already a 9.6. I'd, I'd have to measure the tear and and look and see just just how bad that is in terms of, uh, you know, what's allowed. Like, would that be a 9.6 or a 9.4? Um, let me check out the rest of the book. It, I mean, cardstocks are pretty tough to damage, so when it is damaged, that's it's unfortunate. It looks really clean otherwise, really great cover playing that Batman pinball machine. Little subtle things back in the arcade. There's Harley, Joker. There's even like bats on the back of the booth there. So really awesome cover. Love love the cover. Um, looks great on the back. That's actually the, the minimal on the back of the, of the trade version. Um, I don't really see anything wrong anywhere else. Do you see anything? Uh, pretty clean otherwise right there's a little something so yeah that if if you were wondering like well maybe that's a maybe that tear is allowed maybe it could be a nine eight now with that there it's definitely not a nine eight so uh, trying to really really look at that tear Hmm. I mean, it's a pretty nasty tear. Does that make the whole book a 9.4? It's, it's, ah, it's close. It's close. Uh, but it's not pressable. I'm going to go with 9.4. I know I'm really tough on these books, but I'm, I'm just trying to keep it honest, too. I would rather undergrade it and be surprised with an overgrade. So let me update the description. Legend of Dark Knight, Warren Lau exclusive. Um, and this would be the trade. We'll just check Go Collect just to see. Legends of the Dark Knight, one. This might be a little tough to locate. Yeah, it's going to be... In a long list here, um, yeah, I don't see it. It would have been right in here. Okay, check this one. Let's see, cover price has it. There's three variants. They don't have it either. Okay, so spreadsheet will be the only place <laughs> that's the, no matter if uh, a book I own is in Go Collect or um, cover price, it's always in my spreadsheet. So my spreadsheet is the master for uh, all of my books. And then, you know, hopefully about 98, somewhere 95 to 98% of the books are in, um, 
in one or the other, go collect or cover price. All right, do I give this one a full back? I'm not. I just don't want to. I think because I can't press it, um, just kind of bums me out. So I'm giving it a 9.4. And replace the bag and board with a BCW silver. There it goes. So it looks great. It's too bad. It's got that tear. So what I'm hoping is the second book does not have that problem. This is the minimal trade version. And let's see what this one looks like. So this one, um, I don't know if I didn't realize this when I bought it. Uh, I don't know if it matters. I, I like the cover with the full pinball machine. Don't get me wrong, it's still a great cover. Uh, but it's it's a zoomed in version of the, the standard cover, standard exclusive cover. So looking at that corner, it's not perfect, but it's not ripped. It's actually worse on the back. So let's look at the back. Yeah, so it had the, it has the same problem but it, uh, it's, it's more split than it is ripped. A uh, little bit of a color rub issue right there. Some very, very minor corner bending there. Edges look pretty good. There's no curling or anything. Um, edges are sharp. What do you think about this one? Very, very minor. Uh, let's see if I can get that. Yeah, right there. Got to be careful where I put my fingers right there. Um, hmm. Nine, six. Yeah, nine, six. Not and go collect, not cover price, 9.6. All right, let me replace the uh, the bag and board here. And then we'll put Mutant Beaver into the overall, uh, the ledger stats for all of the stores to see where they, they stack up. Um, you know, it's only gonna be eight books, but we'll see see where they land okay gorgeous cover very good all right set that aside all right let's go full screen here and in the ledger stats I've got um, everywhere I've purchased books from and I'm just gonna insert a row in the middle pull down online CBS Beaver Comics, and then what this does is it um, it goes through the overall individual comic collection ledger and aggregates a bunch of information for me. So anywhere it's a match online CBS and Mutant Beaver Comics, comics um, it will put an entry in here. So I'm going to grab all of this, Control D, and we'll see there. Here are the eight issues that we graded just now. Uh, average grade 9.6. I personally gave three out of those eight uh, a 9.8, um, which is 37.50. You'll note here the cost per 9.8 and the cost per uh, per nine non 9.8. Um, these are high because these are store exclusives, so it's something else to keep an eye on as far as um, you know what you're spending at each uh, source to get high grade books. Uh, let me sort these. Um, oh, I'm just missing the menu. Data sort range. 
and I want to sort, uh, sort by the percentage chance to get a 9.8, and then if there's a tie, I break the tie with average grade. So, where does Mutant Beaver land? 12th. Right there, 9.6. Now, 8 is a small sample size. I get it. I understand. So, um, I'll, I would definitely order from them again. I don't, I mean, the, again, the, I'm super nitpicky, so I'm I'm finding every little tiny defect I possibly can, and and, and I'm critiquing the book. Uh, you know, most of these online shops they even advertise that they they cannot guarantee a grade. They expect everything to be in the 9.2 range and above. So if I ever get a book and it's like, holy hell, this is an 8.0, I, uh, everything's bashed and damaged. Um, usually, just take a photo and contact them, and they'll. They'll work it out. And if it's a store that never gets back to you, then never order from them again. But uh, the customer service at Mutant Beaver, I contacted them with the mix-up with the uh, Strange Academy Mercado exclusive, and they wrote back right away and was just like, we're very sorry, we're going to get you a replacement book out. And I saw the shipping notification, and it should be here, I think. Um, shipping from Canada to the U.S., it should be here in, in I think, it's either arriving... Um, three or four days from now or a week from now. So they were very quick to turn that around. Really no questions asked, uh, very, very um, nice and responsive. So they that alone, uh, I mean, you're getting high quality books in a, a 9.6 average grade with three out of eight being a 9.8. Um, so these are high grade books, uh, great exclusives, um, really um, fantastic customer service. So again, I'm, I'm gonna highlight them as a store that I would uh, purchase more books from. Um, but you can kind of see at a glance, uh, obviously, <laughs> things from another world is getting the bulk of my business, um, and their average grade is 9.629, uh, so Mutant, Be Mutant Beaver at a 9.6 is right there, uh, right up there with them. So, um, all right, that'll do it for this video. Uh, thanks for hanging out, uh, appreciate it, and happy collecting. See you next time.